representative from Washburn In today's Tech show, Emory has more information about Washburn Tech. About it. We want to start hearing from you on social media. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform. Finding character. And giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Hey Vikes, I'm Kylie. And I'm Gage, and you're watching SVTV. Picture Day will be September 16th and 17th during your English classes. Seniors, if you don't have an English class, please see Mrs. Riley in C2 to schedule your picture. Anyone is welcome to order Spirit Club shirts. Order forms can be picked up in the front office or the bank or N14. Orders are due September 18th. The KBI is conducting a forensic science career fair on Monday the 16th from 10 to 1 on the Washburn University campus. You can have the opportunity to speak to scientists about their careers and future job requirements. Emery went to talk to Mrs. Ross about the Washburn Tech opportunity, so let's go see what she has. Hey Vikes, a representative from Washburn Tech is coming on Monday and Mrs. Ross is going to talk to us about it. So why is she coming? She's coming to talk to students who may want to go to Washburn Tech in the future, so sophomores could go see her and juniors and seniors too. How can students come see her? They sign up in the counseling office. There's a sheet on the front desk, and she will call you in with a call, a call slip, and she will meet with you in the library. Is there anything else you'd like to add? If you're interested in going to Washburn Tech, it's better to get in sooner than later. So come sign up if you want to see her. All right. Thank you, Mrs. Ross. Now back to your anchors. ASAP for freshmen is Tuesdays and Thursdays after school until 425. Students needing to ride the bus home must sign up in the office by 115 on those days. The University of Kansas is starting a medical explorers class that begins Monday, September 23rd. Look on school year or go to your counselor for more information. Back to sports right after this quick commercial break. Picture day is September 16th and 17th. It doesn't matter what you look like as long as you show up. Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down. Oh, what am I doing? Well, I'm practicing for the lip sync battle on September 19th. If you'd like to sign up, you can sign up at E3, otherwise known as Chromie's room, but honestly, compared to me, you have no chance. I'll see you there. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Do you have school spirit? Do you want to show off your school spirit? Spirit Club is currently selling shirts. Orders are due by Wednesday, September 18th. Drop off your order form at the bank or Miss Geis's room in 14. Volleyball played last night. Varsity went 3-0 at Silver Lake, and JV went 1-1 at Manhattan. Football plays tonight at Hayden, and the theme is blackout. The wrestling team will be having a kickball classic on Sunday, September 29th at the Middle School football field. The cost is $80, and the registration deadline is September 20th. Now let's go to Josh and find out what the weather is going to look like for tonight's game. Good afternoon to you. Hope you're having a great Friday. And let's take a look back yesterday real quick where we had 1.11 inches of rain. It was a stormy Thursday as promised. And for the month so far, we are just over a quarter inch below normal. So that's, where, that's a quick check-in for the month of September. And this morning, our low was 58 degrees. How about that for a morning on this Friday the 13th? Now heading through the rest of today, you can see we climb from the mid-70s in the early afternoon to a high around 79, mostly sunny skies. And for the football game tonight at Hayden, temperature is falling 
back down into the low 70s. So it should be just beautiful weather for your Friday night plans. Now, here, weather is not going to be too active over the next six days, but I want to take you back out into the Atlantic because we have another potential tropical cyclone. This is number nine, and this could strengthen into a tropical storm, maybe even a hurricane, as it takes an eerily similar path as major Hurricane Dorian right near the Florida coast and then possibly curving back towards the east along the Carolina coast. This is just fascinating, and if this were to develop, it would be called Tropical Storm or Hurricane Humberto. So we will be watching that over the next several days. Here's a seven day forecast back at home exclusive to SVTV. You can see we are looking at a warm up after today. Highs in the low 90s Sunday, Monday and Tuesday, but no rain chances to be seen in the seven day forecast. Now, Kylie and Gage back. Thanks, Josh. We're starting a new segment called Social Media, ran by me and Kylie. I'm going to be running the Snapchat. And I'm going to be running the Instagram. We asked for your guys' picture from last week's games, and this is what we got. What I hey, Vikes. We were sent tons of photos on the game from Friday versus Highland Park, so make sure to keep sending in your clips. We will start featuring one person from Instagram and one person from Snapchat. This week's features are Sophie Spark from Snapchat and Landon Suki from Instagram. Instagram is at Seaman Viking TV and Snapchat is SVTV News. This week's game is at Hayden and the theme is Blackout. Make sure to keep sending us your rivalry picks if you want to be featured on SVTV. We know you use social media and we want you to interact with us. Make sure you follow Seaman Viking Television on Instagram at Seaman Viking TV. And follow us on Snapchat at SVTV News. Have a good weekend and we'll see you here Monday.